Inflation caused by supply chain disruptions is fundamentally different than the demand-induced inflation typically managed with macroeconomic fiscal or monetary policy. With excess demand, withdraw the policy accommodation and eventually inflation pressures are likely to subside. With supply chain disruptions, the capability of the economic system to provide goods and services is impaired. The disruptions may appear transient. Just remember that repairing the supply chain is expensive, time-consuming, and may involve many years of elevated prices. Supply disruptions are not felt equally across all sectors of the economy, and one problem can create others. A computer chip shortage results in lower production of automobiles. The nature of the supply problem is that broad-based demand management policies designed to lift or lower all boats are unlikely to be of much assistance in tamping down supply chain-induced inflation. think the supply chain is linear, a straight line with products moving from manufacturer to delivery and finally to the consumer. But even on paper, it's not that simple. And so if I'm a manufacturer, I could have suppliers all over the world, but they then have suppliers and they have other customers. And those suppliers' suppliers have suppliers. And actually, when you start mapping them out, it doesn't look so much like a line, but a big web. The global supply chain is so intricately woven that a small glitch can quickly amplify and disrupt its flow. It's hard to say how long supply chain disruptions will last, but experts agree that they will most likely extend beyond the COVID-19 pandemic. And finding solutions to address these issues may even create new ones. The inflation rate is expected to continue to rise uh, for the foreseeable future. Then the trickle effect of that is, is certainly going to if not continue the the supply chain problem it's going to create new problems.